In Citadel Honey Bunny, we are promised the best of both worlds. The Russo brothers who have given us Avengers, Extraction and the Grey Man and the Raj and DK who have given us the Family Man, Farzi and Guns and Gulabs. This is a great combination. Besides, Citadel is Varun Dhawan's web series debut which make things more exciting since the inception. The show aims to blend espionage drama with a Bollywood flavor. However, it comes with both commendable strengths and notable drawbacks. Citadel Honey Bunny is Starring Varun Dhawan alongside Samantha Ruth Prabhu is a notable experiment merging the Russo brothers global espionage franchise with Raj and DK's unique flair. Set across two timelines the 1990s and 2000s, this Indian prequel to Citadel starring Priyanka Chopra and Richard Madden follows the story of Bunny played by Varun Dhawan, a Bollywood stuntman who moonlights as a secret agent and Honey played by Samantha, an actress with financial struggles who joins his team. Right from the inception when the show was announced, I was excited for this show because of course the Russo brothers are attached as the executive producers and the Indian adaptation is written and directed by Raj and DK. So of course, the expectations are tripled. So to make things simple in this review, I will start with the positive aspects. Number 1. Atmosphere and Setting The 90s and early 2000s backdrop injects a nostalgic, gritty feel that grounds the spy thriller in a pre-digital world. The absence of modern gadgets emphasizes hand-to-hand -hand combat and human brilliance creating a retro vibe that distinguishes it from high-tech spy dramas. Number 2. Action and Cinematography Citadel Honey Bunny features intense, well-choreographed action scenes that span diverse locations from Bombay's streets to scenic Europe. The cinematography amplifies these sequences creating visually arresting moments that elevate the show. Number 3. The Background Music The music underscores each scene, immersing viewers in the 90s atmosphere. It's a subtle yet powerful feature that adds to the narrative's retro espionage flavor. Number 4. There are no better choices than Raj in DK as the minds behind a spy universe. First, their family man and now this web series. Frankly speaking, I have grown tired of Yash Raj film's spy universe where they come with the same story of an agent gone rogue. Raj in DK infuse a refreshing change when it comes to the spy genre. Shows like The Family Man and now Citadel Honey Bunny prove that why should the spy genre should only be held by people like Raj in DK. Now the negative aspects. Number 1. Lack of Raj in DK signature humor. The show is thousand times better than its American counterpart and easy to watch but that doesn't mean that it's not free of drawbacks. One of the biggest drawbacks in Citadel Honey Bunny is that it didn't have the signature humor of Raj in DK. When you watch the show like Farzi in The Family Man or Guns or Gulabs there is a dark and sarcastic humor that the highlight of every episode. Unfortunately, this was missing from Citadel Honey Bunny which made the series dull and kind of boring at several sequences. Number 2. Screenplay and Pacing Another huge drawback is the boring and a stretched screenplay despite a compelling story with so many potentials. The number of episodes were perfect but the length of each episode is felt too long when the screenplay is not as engaging as you expect it to be. Once again, the whole Citadel universe is a bore but Compared to those shows, Raj in DK's contribution is much better. However, the screenplay in this web series does not match the standards set by Raj in DK compared to their previous works. Number 3. Underdeveloped Characters Varun Dhawan's boyish demeanor tends to undermine the invincibility that Bunny is supposed to show in the most difficult situations. I mean, you cannot simply take him serious in some of the most important sequences. Besides, his character has no layers. The same goes for KK Minan's character. This is in no way to criticize Varun Dhawan or KK Minan's acting abilities. I believe this is the writer's and the director's fault. With the kind of scale they have invested in this show, they could have paid equal attention to the characters. Number 4. Plot Holes There are certain ambiguities in this series that leave you scratching your head. For example, it would have been better had the makers shed some more light on the project Talwar, including how KK Minan's character made his his own agency. Then we have KK Menon's change of heart at the last minute which kind of looks unconvincing and half-baked. I mean, throughout the show, you are repeatedly told that he is someone who never backs off from his target, yet he easily moves aside and tells his man not to follow Varundavan. Now the performances. KK Menon plays the character of Baba who recruits young boys from the orphanage to his agency. Raj and DK have presented him as this big bad guy and unfortunately they have forgotten
forgotten to add some layers to his character. His moves and reactions to the circumstances around him are predictable. He was presented much better in Farzi compared to this web series. Varun Dhawan is a great addition to this universe. To see him make such choices puts him in a much better place than his contemporaries. However, I would have loved to see a much better representation of his character in the early 90s compared to his contemporary character from the early 2000s in this web series. Like KK Menon, his character also becomes the victim of the writer's inconvenience. Samantha Ruth Prabhu is a delight to watch as the vulnerable yet tough as nails honey. The way she executes some of the heavy duty action sequences is commendable. I have always been a fan of her work in this web series is no exception either. Among the supporting cast, Shivankit Singh Parihar is one bright spot. His leap from TVF to a big show is a successful one, but the fate of his character is kept mysteriously unknown without any explanation which doesn't make any sense. Saqib Salim is restrained and this is probably the first time I have liked his performance. He shines as the bad guy throughout this series. On the whole, Citadel Hani Bunny succeeds in action choreography which will appeal in some storytelling elements. It falls short of Raj Indiki's standards. Its narrative gaps, lack of humor and sometimes dragging pace prevent it from being a truly standout series. Nonetheless, it offers a refreshing addition to the spy genre, especially for those tired of more formulaic spy thrillers. So this is it for me guys, write down your thoughts in the comments below and please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more content in the future.